Hello there. How would you like to learn how to program the Avnet Zuya Board Development Kit using AMD Xilinx Bovado? I'm John Petrus with MathWorks. This is the four part video series that covers getting started with the Avnet Zuya Board Development Kit. During the first three videos, I showed you how to set up the project, design an algorithm and simulate it, elaborate the design, and today's focus is going to be creating a bitstream file and programming the FPGA hardware. During the last video, we ran a behavioral simulation and that came back without errors. So let's look at what Bovado did to our design. Movado has created a set of files known as the elaborated design. And what this means is it took our fur filter and placed it into specific function blocks, netlists, and IOs within the Movado environment. And here's what it looks like. So you get a project summary and a picture of the schematic. What you want to do next is run synthesis, which I'll do here. And it looks like Synthesis ran successfully. So let's go ahead and open that. Synthesis is really an estimation and a design planning step. When I placed IOs, I right clicked here and uh, just had Bovado auto place everything. And you can see on the left here, you get a lot of different views on timing, debugging, clock interaction, design rule, check, noise reporting, and uh, utilization to see how your design performs uh, given this set of uh, synthesis files. So when we look at how IOs were mapped to the package and what the final silicon die and device looks like, this seems okay. So we'll go ahead to the next step, which is running the implementation. And it looks like implementation worked successfully. Implementation is done. Vivado has created a set of files that now represent our fur filter design placed on the FPGA device. All of the functions in the blocks are on the device die and all of the IO are mapped uh, to physical pins of the package. So the last step we'll want to do is generate a bitstream. Let's move that to a split screen view. And you can see the bitstream generated successful and you can use that file to program your board. So let's review what we've covered. In today's video, I showed you how to create a bitstream and program the FPGA as part of the ZU board development kit. Thanks for watching and good luck on your next design.